parking lot after school is on. Teachers don't fight. You guys outdid yourself once again. You had the whole theater laughing nonstop. Good, 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 good. You guys had fun, huh? Yes, a lot Much of fun. fun. Yeah, it's a fun movie. So I want to know, what was it in the screenplay that you guys decided that, yes, I need to be in this movie? Um, when I read it, I knew Charlie had attached himself, and, and I read it picturing him, you know, and picturing myself, and it just, it works, you know. Uh, it's just a, a great movie for us to do together. For me, I kind of liked how the character was a little more of a straight man than I usually play and that I was surrounded by all these crazy characters and stuck in a hard place. And then I thought, boy, if we can get a really great actor in that role. And then as soon as as soon as soon Cube's name got brought up, it blew my mind. I said, well, that, that makes the movie way more interesting than I had originally pictured it. You play a mean teacher. Yes. Who inspired uh, your character? <laughs> a few of them. You know, I had this teacher <laughs> named Mr. Tucson. He was a wood teacher. You know, when they did wood, they did yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, when they used and to they did, chop things. Yeah, and uh, man, he'd grab students by the collar, yoke you up. Nobody mess with Mr. Two Signs. How about yourself? I believe your parents were teachers. Did they give you any insights of how is it, you know, being yeah, around school? Yeah, you know, I might have been channeling my mom and dad a little bit in that character. And uh, I certainly was sympathizing with them. Uh, not being bullied, but like uh, in a school full of kids that aren't paying attention to what they're saying. Brooklyn, reputation of a hothead. Scary, yet effective. Kill shot! Am I the only one here who sees what's going on? Hello? Hello. Not hello you! Hello, he's holding an axe! Llama a tu operador de TV Paga y pide Hola TV.